Yo, what up, what up, it's the Kid CJ City. So we back with a brand new fragrance video today. We are going to be talking about 10 of my most complimented fragrances throughout this season of fall, man. All right, so this season is just a little bit different with this whole COVID situation going on. So most of my compliments are honestly just coming from my wife. They're also coming from my grandmother. She comes over, she helps us out. She watches the baby while we're working and things of that nature. She just visiting, just having fun and stuff like that. So she's the one giving me compliments as well. And my wife, you know, her siblings are usually over here. So they're the ones who are like making statements and comments on my fragrances. You know, I'm not getting many compliments out here in, in the regular world, man. My fragrances, they're not projecting through people's masks and they're not giving me compliments like all these other people claim that they're getting. It's just not working for me, all right? But, you know, this year, we're just gonna focus on what my close, you know, people are kind of commenting on and giving me compliments on, all right? So let's just go ahead and start off with number 10. This fragrance right here, it's a new acquisition. I actually just got this a couple of months before, you know, fall, and I've been giving it a lot of wear, a lot of test drives and things of that nature through through fall. So that's probably why I'm getting compliments, but you know, let's face it, it's a good it's a good fragrance, man. And this one right here is going to be called Rum and Tobacco, all right? First of all, we gotta salute my dude, Equality Fragrance. He's the one who gave me the assist on this fragrance. I saw his video. He was talking about this fragrance smelled like side effect. And you know, my favorite fragrance of all time is side effect. So I'm like, a fragrance that smells like side effect? Yo, give me some of that, all right? So I ordered me a bottle of this stuff right here. And I will say, he, he shot me to assist because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have smelled this fragrance. But to my nose, it doesn't smell like side effect but it does smell damn good, man. So I'm still glad that I was able to actually purchase this fragrance. You know, in the opening, I feel like I'm getting like this lime, man. It's like this nice lime, you know, accord. And then I don't know what's going on with my nose, man. My nose can be completely tripping, especially when I look at the, the note breakdown. But I'm getting like this vanilla wafer cookie type of vibe, man. This is like straight gourmandish to me, man. And I'm looking up the notes and I'm like, okay, they got rum in here. They got cinnamon. They got cardamom. They got tobacco. They got lime. I have no idea where all this vanilla waf wafer cookies is like coming from, man, because there's no vanilla in here. So I'm completely puzzled. But to my nose, that's what I'm getting. Nice zesty lime and like this gourmand kind of, you know, uh, vanilla cookie type of vibe, all right? My wife, she has complimented me with this fragrance multiple times, man. She said it smells good, smells edible, and she does like this fragrance. So this is gonna come in at the number 10 slot. It hasn't got as many compliments as the other ones on this list, but it's a really good fragrance. I do recommend that you guys try this and you check it out. I actually sent somebody, you know, a free sample of this fragrance and he immediately uh, bought the bottle right after, man. So he was feeling his fragrance as well, man. So that's coming in at the number 10 slot. That one is going to be called Rum and Tobacco, all right? Now let's go ahead and move on to the ninth fragrance on this list. And this one is gonna come from the house of Creed. And this is gonna be a fragrance that not too many people talk about, but I really enjoy this fragrance and I like it because it adds a little something different to the to the element man so this one is going to be called sublime vanille all right so this one is a vanilla based fragrance but basically it adds like this nice lemon zesty nature to it man so in the opening you're getting like this lemon zest but you're getting like this nice kind of you know, semi gourmand vanilla. It's not like a vanilla milkshake or vanilla ice cream or anything like that, but it is vanilla. It's very, very vanilla dominant fragrance, but you're getting like a nice zesty lemon. Also like, you know, it could be like this lemon pie type of vibe that you can get, man. Perfect way that I describe this is if you guys are familiar with uh, Chanel Edition Blanc, that fragrance, I feel like this is like the kind of like not polar opposite, but it's like the reverse, man. When you, when you think of that fragrance, basically what you're getting is more citrus in that fragrance, and then you're getting like a little bit of vanilla. This one, you're getting a lot of vanilla and a little bit of that lemon, you know, uh, citrus, all right? So it's kind of like a little reverse thing that's going on there. But this one, very dominant with the vanilla, 
a nice gourmandish vanilla kind of reminds you of something that's sweet and i've gotten good compliments from this fragrance of course from my wife i usually wear this fragrance like around bedtime or something like that man something where we're you know might cuddle up watch a movie or something like that and she has given me some good compliments with this and you know let's be honest i like this fragrance i enjoy this fragrance if i was to smell this fragrance on somebody else i would give them a compliment because it's a really good fragrance so coming in at the number nine slot that one is going to be from creed and that one is going to be called sublime vanilla all right let's go ahead and move on to the eighth slot here and this one is going to come from one of my favorite houses initio no it is not initio side effect this one is going to be initio rehab all right so again, like I said, my wife, she's the one that I'm usually around during this quarantine time, but also my, my grandma comes over and she, you know, hangs out with us and she's giving me some good compliments with this fragrance as well as my wife. All right. My wife, you know, has given me compliments multiple times wearing this fragrance and she didn't even realize that it was the same fragrance, man. I'm just like, oh yeah, that, that's, that's rehab again. You, you, you commented on that a couple of nights ago or whatever, but this one, basically just think of Spice Bomb. All right. But think of all of the synthetic natures, the spice bomb, little, you know, all of those things, they're removed, man. Those little things that you dislike about spice bomb, you take it out, you make this thing smoother, much more refined and much more creamier. And that's what you're getting with this here. All right. So you get nice spices in the opening, man. You get a little floral nature, but you're also getting like this creamy nature as well, man. And I feel like that's coming from the sandalwood that you got in here. You also get vanilla, but that's like in the dry down. Okay. But you're getting like this nice spicy, creamy nature. Just think of what Spice Bomb Extreme is supposed to be. That's the best way I can describe this fragrance. Nice, spicy, vanillic, sandalwood, creamy type of vibes you're getting with this right here. So that one is going to come from the house of Initio. That one is going to be called a rehab. All right. So let's just go ahead and move on to the number seven slot here on this list. And this one is going to come from the house of Parfums Vintage. And this one is going to be called Summer Bottled Intense. All right. So I know they're marketing this fragrance towards the summer, but when I first tried this fragrance, it didn't really, you know, fit summer. It was too thick. It was too rich to be a summer fragrance. And I just found that it worked better throughout the, the fall time because it has like this nice kick, this nice spice to it, man. And um, I feel like that, that spice is coming from the ginger in here and it's just giving you a beautiful like boom a punch of just zesty zingy kick you know a nice spicy nature and then it, this also has cardamom in the opening and it also has lemon in the opening you know that that dance that they create together man that lemon you know and that cardamom with the ginger and the spice it's a very very beautiful opening and it has garnered me some good compliments but then as this thing starts to dry down you pick up on like this juniberry kind of gin and tonic type of vibe that you're getting with here and then it still has like this lemon cardamom dance and balance that's going on it's a really really good fragrance and like i said i have gotten some good compliments this season from this so coming in at the number seven slot that one is going to be parfum vintage summer bottle intense all right now let's go ahead and move on to the number six fragrance here and this one it's one of my favorites, man. I wish this thing got way more compliments and, you know, I just really, really like this fragrance. I wish it could be number one, but I'll be honest, there's other fragrances on here that has gotten more compliments than this fragrance here. And this one is going to come from the house of Carner Barcelona, and this one is going to be called Tardes, man. And again, this is a fragrance that I just got this year. So I've been just like eager to go out into the public and see how this thing does, you know, see what the type of reaction that I'm getting from this fragrance, because I really enjoy Tardes, man. This fragrance right here opens up with a nice plum. It's a sweet plum. And then you're also getting like this, this kind of like a helotrope type of vibe that you're getting here. You're also getting like this almond nature, all right? So you get almond and then you get like vanilla, man. That's basically what I'm getting with this fragrance. There's nothing crazy. There's no journey that this thing goes on, but it's a beautiful fragrance, man. It just, it just comes together very, very nicely. 
It has like this thing to it where you feel like there's iris in here, but it's not really iris. But like ultimately you're getting a nice sweet plump with this nice almond and a nice beautiful vanilla. That's what you're getting with this fragrance. And it has garnered me some nice compliments from the company that has come over and they've, they've made some comments and they have given me compliments with this fragrance. And I really, really enjoy this fragrance. So coming in at the number six slot is going to come from the house of Carnival Barcelona and that's going to be Tardet. Again, you guys should check this out. You know, I, I'm not really recommending all these fragrances. I'm just telling you the things that I'm getting compliments with, but I'll take a little, you know, time out and I will recommend this fragrance. Go out there, try it, at least get a sample. I feel like you will enjoy this fragrance and it's going to be a nice fragrance that you guys can wear throughout like the, the fall, even so, sort of like the winter time as well, man. It's going to do you some good. All right. So let's just go ahead and move on to the fifth fragrance on this list. And this fragrance is going to come from the house of Creed again. This is going to be a heavy hitter, but it's going to be something a little different this year. All right. So this one is going to be Aventus. All right. Now, hear me out here. Aventus, of course, we all know Aventus is getting compliments. We do know that. This year, I've been exploring on the smoky vintage batches of Aventus. All right. I'm like, yo, I really want to get into that smoke. Let me see what's going on. I tried the smoke. And I'm telling you, man, that smoke is good. That smoke note is phenomenal, man. This one right here is an old school vintage batch. This is 13X01 for you guys who are into batches. This is vintage stuff right here. Very, very expensive. I'm not telling you to go out there and get engulfed in the whole smoky batches, the vintage batches, but I will give you some validation that that those old school batches are very good and i do see why people are paying that amount of money for those batches because it's just something that's really good and it's something you just cannot get anymore especially the way that creed aventus is going i feel like it's going downhill you will never get this batch i won't say never never say never but you're not going to find this type of batch in any of these fragrances sweet pineapple i'm telling you, you get that pineapple accord you get that vibe and it's true sweet pineapple in here and you're also getting like this smoky nature man and i know it might sound weird like people say that it smells like charcoal like you're out there barbecuing yes it does give you that vibe but it's something that works and it's something that's so good man and i was into the smoky batches and i like it and guess what guys my wife still gives me compliments with this fragrance all right i think it's just because that smoky nature kind of gives you like this manly type of vibe but that sweet pineapple that you get in here that you're just not getting in these newer batches of aventus is still here man so it's like this perfect balance and act between smoky manliness and sweet pineapple and then of course you're getting that vanilla you're getting that that apple you're getting that black currant that bergamot everything that aventus is known for you're getting it here beautiful beautiful fragrance i have been getting some compliments with this fragrance and i really enjoy it all right so let's just go ahead and move on to the fourth fragrance on this list right here and this one is going to be a new acquisition very 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 new i've been wearing it a lot but every single time I've worn the fragrance, I've gotten a compliment with the fragrance, all right? I'm telling you, man, this is gonna come from the house of BDK Parfums, and this one is going to be called Tabac Rose, all right? This one, like I said in my previous video, I don't know if it's gonna be a previous video or if it's gonna be a future video. I don't know when I'm releasing it, but check out the review for this, this fragrance. I did a full review. It's the best fragrance of the whole entire year of 2020, man. This fragrance, is a beautiful spicy cinnamon pink pepper rose tobacco plum chocolate labdanum like amber accord all of that in one you're getting all of this in this fragrance of course rose is going to be you know the dominant player but the rose is not a girly rose it's not a feminine rose it's not an old school grandma rose or anything like that this one right here like i said in my review you get so much in the opening you're able to pick up on so much, yet they don't clash, you know, and they, they just work really well together. It was just like blended to perfection, but not blended enough where you can't pick up on stuff. But I'm telling you, this is one of the best fragrances of the year. My wife gives me compliments every single time I wear this fragrance, man. And I'm telling you, 
really, really good stuff right here. So coming in at the number four slot is going to come from the house of BDK Parfums, and this one is going to be Rose to Bat. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the third fragrance on my list here. This is no stranger at all. You guys know the compliments that I've been getting previously from this fragrance, and I'm still getting the compliments um, with this fragrance right here. And this one is coming from the house of Tom Ford, and this one is going to be called Noir Extreme. Now, I'm telling you, compliments galore with this fragrance out in the public. You know, unsolicited comments, people coming up to me, giving me compliments, all right? And I'm telling you, my inner circle gives me compliments with this fragrance as well. So much so that a, a bunch of people were over here. I was like, hey, man, I hate to kick you guys out, but uh, you guys got to get out the living room because I'm about to record me a fragrance video or whatever. So I started bringing my fragrances out just like this, lining them up. And while I'm, you know, getting mic'd up in the bag, people are smelling my fragrances and stuff. So I come out and I'm telling you, it's just this like this little cypher going on, man. They're like, yo, city, what is this fragrance right here, man? This stuff is good right here, man. So they're all like, yeah, yeah, this stuff is good, man. What is it? You know, I'm telling them it's time for Noir, Noir Extreme. You know, uh, my wife's sister was over. She's like, yo, that's fire. Uh, write that down. I need to buy that for my husband, man. And then, you know, her other sister was over there. Her husband was there right there. She's like, yeah, man, you need to be wearing this too, man. He's like, yeah, get City, you got a decan of that? Let me get that, man. I'm telling you, this was like a hit amongst everybody who was over. And it wasn't even planned, man. I just brought out my fragrances to do a re review. They just were smelling stuff. They came across this. Everybody liked this fragrance. I'm telling you, man. Also, one more story, man. When I first, first tried this, this fragrance, the, the uh, you know, the clerk at Macy, she sprayed this on a tester strip. My wife smelled it. She's like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. A City, this is going to be your signature scent from now on. Buy that bottle, man. She just wanted this to be my signature scent, something that I just wore all the time, all day, every day, man. So this stuff is good. Coming in at the number three slot, Tom Ford Noir Extreme, all right? Let's go ahead and move on to the second fragrance on this list here. This fragrance might come as a shock because it's a fragrance that everybody talks about, man. And it's like an old fragrance. You're probably like, yeah, yeah, been there, done that. But it works, all right? I'm telling you. So this one is going to come from the house Apaco Rabanne. And this one is going to be called One Million Privé, all right? Good fragrance, really good. And it just works. It just gets compliments. You're around people. You smell good, man. I'm telling you. I'm getting some good compliments when it comes to this fragrance. And also... It's a fragrance that, um, not saying it's growing on me, but it's one of those fragrances that it just doesn't disappoint. I can wear this thing four days in a row, just smells really good every single time. I just don't get tired of the fragrance. It's a good fragrance, man. You're getting like this sweetness. You're getting like this apple type of vibe, this, this cinnamon, like almost like this pie type of, you know, feel that you're getting with this. You're getting like this nice, airy, refined type of nature to this fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance, and it's a fragrance that could, that could kind of lean like a gourmand, but it's not necessarily gourmandish. It just kind of gives you those type of vibes, man. It's a really, really good fragrance. And for the price that you can get it at, especially now, it's like you get this thing for like 40, 50 bucks, 100 ml, man. Beautiful. Go out there and try it. If you guys haven't tried this already, I'm pretty sure you have. But man, it gets compliments and it works, man. So coming in at number two, I'm telling you, this thing be beating out a lot of stuff. And as you guys can see, coming up number one, is not going to be side effect, all right, man? Side effect they ain't really getting compliments like that for some reason from the wife or from the company that I keep. And I have been wearing that fragrance, man, but just hasn't really got many compliments. I'll be honest with you, all right? You know, uh, this one million Privé got way more compliments than side effect. And this number one fragrance right here, I don't like doing this, man. I, I, I don't like giving you guys fragrances that are extremely hard to find or fragrances that are discontinued. So this is not a recommendation, you know, list. It's just letting you guys know the fragrances that I've been getting the most compliments with. And it just so happens to be a fragrance that is extremely hard to find, man, all right? I got the fragrance and I just been sampling it and I've been testing it out, but it's just getting the compliments. And I'm telling you, man, this one is gonna come from a house called EBK Parfums. And this one is going to be called Aqua Marine and Powder, all right? Now, it, it's very hard to get, a, get in touch with this company. They don't have a website, all right? They're not based in the U.S., all right? You know, uh, they don't have a Facebook or anything like that. They only have an Instagram. You guys can find them on EBK Parfums, I believe, or it's EBK Paris. They have like two accounts. 
One of them, they do not respond to anybody at all. The other one, you can send them a private message, but if you're not their friend or if they haven't accepted you as a friend, all your messages, all your messages, they just go into like this message requested pile and they probably don't read through all of those, man. So it doesn't come to them directly. So they don't respond right away. It's very hard to get in touch with them. I got lucky enough to speak with somebody who actually ordered multiple bottles from them. So he's already been in contact with them. He's like, yo, there's somebody named CJ City. He's hitting you up on Instagram. He's interested, you know, take his message, man. So they actually took my message. I just, I, I, I discussed some, some, uh, you know, purchases of this bottle, but I'll be honest with you, man, it's <laughs> pretty steep. All right. I'm just not ready to spend that much money right now on the scent profile of this fragrance. All right. It's a very basic, you know, scent profile, but it's very good and it works. Basically what you're getting in the opening, you're getting like this little freshness. All right. It's not a citrus fresh or anything like that. It's almost more so like a very fresh lavender is what you're getting here, man. So it's a clean and fresh lavender is what you get in the opening of this fragrance. And then after that, like maybe like 15 minutes later, you're getting like this powdery type of nature, almost like, I don't want to say baby powder, but it kind of could smell like, you know, a nice lotion or something like that. And then it just goes into like this powdery vanilla fragrance. So clean lavender and opening powdery vanilla type of fragrance, very basic, but just works so well, man. And there's a lot of notes in here, man, but I'm not really picking up on much. So I don't really want to give you guys the note breakdown. That's basically just what you get. A clean lavender, powdery, vanilla type of vibe. But bro, I'm telling you, compliments galore on this fragrance. I basically run through this whole thing and I'm, I'm debating, man. I want to get my hands on a full bottle, but I just, I just can't justify spending $250 on such a basic scent profile, man. It just is very hard for me to do. Maybe one day I might sell something. Maybe I might come across some extra money and I might pull the trigger on this. I'll be honest with you. It's very hard to find, but I just gotta be honest with you. This is like my number one complimented fragrance so far throughout the month of fall, man, or throughout the season of fall, excuse me. So that's going to be all of my fragrances that I have been pulling some compliments with. Man, if you guys have any of these fragrances, drop those comments down below. Give a little bit of validation. Also, let me know your number one most complimented fragrance throughout the fall because you guys might have something that I have not tried and I will go out there and I will get me a little sample. But that's basically going to wrap things up here. You already know what it is. I'm CJ City. I'm signing out. I appreciate all the love. Peace.